multitasking. Please don't ask what I'm doing. No, nah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You know, you and I talk offline. The yeah. conversations offline are probably five times. It'll make us rich, but it also get us killed. So that's that one of those things. It would. It would. It's a, it's a, <laughs> I can tell you, but I also have to kill you kind of conversations. You know, it's 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 when you have um, instantly famous, instantly dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 when you have um Chappelle money rogan money that yeah. you can have that honest conversation and just let everyone know like hey here's how i actually feel yeah exactly. i thought i would let you know this exactly you know but um a lot of good things going on it's new year's eve eve yes it is uh eve. i'm so happy like everyone else in the world to say, you know, we're t just shy of 20, 27 hours away from saying goodbye from 2020. Right. I don't even know what to say to you on, on this year. I'm, gl I'm, glad it's, I'm glad it's a wrap. I'm, I'm one of yeah. the first people to, to be happy that it's gone and to look forward to the mystery of 2021, I guess I'm going to call it that. Okay. You said the ministry of 2021? The, the mystery. Oh, the mystery. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Hey, some let me do some, issue. let me, let me do some housekeeping stuff. Want to let you guys know, um, we're being brought to you by our good friends at HAPS. HAPS offers free world-class broadcast tools, a community eager to collaborate, and a simple way for viewers to support creators financially. You've now been on, true, you've been on HAPS for, say, about 48 hours. Has it changed your life? <laughs> uh, honestly, no. Okay. That. How do we get honestly. it to change your life? How do you get to change my life? I've got some glitches going on with my machinery. Uh, okay. If, if if I could get that fixed, I'd be happy. Um, can't get two images, and but I'm sure I'm sure it'll work itself out by the end of next month. What is it? The today New Year's. So yeah, yeah so New Year's by Eve. Thirtieth of next year, we should be good. But I'm, I'm assuming by the time. Joe Biden shows up, everything will be fixed. <laughs> All Kira's will be in motion, and that is it. And that includes this HAPS TV uh, feed, and I will have no problem. Do you hear me, HAPS? No problem, January 20th, period. So I'm going to give it at least a couple of weeks. Was that three weeks? Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's three <laughs> weeks. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not sure if that's going like to... Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be resolved in 21 days or not, because um, what? Uh, President-elect is coming in, and he's going to solve everything. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's going to part so the Red the Sea. Haps, the HAPS uh, vid team aren't on it. Joe Biden is going to come in. He's going to swivel his chair around and sit with the back, like your high school professor did when he thought he was cool. And he's going to, like, swing his cap around. He's just going to start hacking. Like uh, the Andrew Jolie movie from the 80s. <laughs> what are you talking about? War games? You talking no, about no, war no, games? Was, <laughs> no, the, it was uh, it was the Angelina Jolie. I think it was called Hackers. Oh, you know, okay. A whole bunch of kids, kids tried to like hack. Uh, oh God, who was it? He's human to Sigourney Weaver. Eric. Um. Oh my God, I forgot his last name, but uh. He played Eric the Red. Oh my God, he was in Bull Durham opposite uh, Kevin Costa. This is me. I can I can remember like the third and fourth lead and stuff, <laughs> but, but like I can't remember the third and fourth. Uh, anyway, forget. Um, it's gonna come to me while we're talking. Uh, Big shout out to Peter, who is probably like. 
one of the greatest people that I've met in the last couple of weeks. Pete, it's it's happy to be we're we're happy to be on the platform. Um thanks for being that community head of community. Really do appreciate you because you get to answer all of our whiny questions about technology and doing this and doing that. So big shout out to you. Um, so I guess I was going to ask you true about a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Um, one was 24 hours ago, we were talking about $2,000 checks, but $600 $600 checks <laughs> ar arrive directly into X amount of people's accounts today. Yeah. Um, That's so how, how do, how oh, do people, all, it was Tim Robbins. I don't know why I said Eric. I, I think I was thinking I was thinking Eric the red, but Tim Robbins, it was in bull dorm. Um, but yeah, $600, you know, all your problems are over now. Stop complaining, get back to work in the mines. And uh, I'll go back to one of my 14 giant houses. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know what? It's really, really, really it's a painful pathetic. time. It's, it's, it's a painful time. Um, I wish I had that image. I'm going to look for that image that I, that I uh, had shared with you maybe about a month ago about what other countries are doing versus what the United States has done in that nine month period since right. COVID. And, you know, most of these other countries have given, I don't want to say stipends, but they've given um, a good amount, a decent amount per month to help, yeah. you know, their, uh, you know, people in their country who are dealing with lockdowns and everything. Um, $600. So you got 1,200 nine months ago. And you got six hundred dollars right. today, right. if you make less than seventy five thousand. And I'm sure if you have, you know, if you have children, you're gonna, you're gonna make some more, you know, based on per per child. Right. But, dude, I gotta tell you, the politicians have failed us. But they've always failed us. I mean, why? Well, I, I don't understand why people are shocked. You know, you can look, you can look back through. The history of this place and when you need the american government they always let you down no matter what they write in the history books about how there was empathy and sympathy and all this stuff from the american establishment to the american consumer slash worker slash citizen you know it's always the same i mean but if you let's say but let's just say you have a family um mm -hmm two, uh, you know, three children, it, it comes down to, I think before I looked at it and I sent out, out amongst my friends and I said, okay, and this was based on a $1,200 number based over that nine and a half month period. I said, that's like $5 and 35 cents a day. Right. How do you keep your family solvent if your job is, you know, no longer, ex you know, no longer exists yeah. or you're in a lockdown period. I mean, let's, let's just say you live out in LA County where things are super expensive. Right. How does five dollars and 35 cents help you a day? Yeah. Well, it won't get your moving truck to get the hell out of there. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Not, none of their solutions work. None of their solutions in in my eyes, seem to get you through the storm, right? They're not even trying to get you through the storm. They're they're trying to buy you maybe twenty minutes of the storm. You know what I mean? And if this storm rages and it looks like it's about to rage, it's thirty nine hundred, uh, thirty nine hundred and counting. Um, based on the COVID tracking website yeah. today, and it was that was at seven. You know that was about two hours ago. It was at thirty nine oh three. Thirty nine oh three. It was thirty nine oh three at about seven forty eight Eastern Eastern time. Yeah, 
Deaths. Deaths. Yeah. I mean. So today's the day we touch 4,000. Yeah, but, I mean, we did this when it was 1,000, right? We, we did this when it was 10,000 infected. And 20,000, you know, people, like, this obsession with the death count begins you, it begins to get to the point where you're looking at the next the next batch of people, right? Like, you're all, I hate to say it, but it's almost like it's Vegas. You're like, will it be 50? When will it hit 60? Or 70? Is game going to hit 80? You know, it's... It's remember that conversation we had about Cuomo and his uh, daily coronavirus briefing. Okay. And I said way back then, I was like, how long before you get tired of like seeing this dude every day tell you miserable stories about coronavirus? And then they had to drop it back to weekly. And I'm I, I'm saying the same thing. Do you really need a weekly coronavirus report from the governor? I don't think you do. I think you can watch it on TV, right? It's because I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. Wanna, I disagree. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. I got I got to disagree with you. But okay, go, ahead, we got go, ahead, 50, go ahead. We have 50 governors all giving monthly, uh, sorry, all giving weekly coronavirus reports. What's different? What's different? Well, they're only they're they're only governors of their states. I know, but but the the states uh, that are adjacent have very similar um, numbers, right? They don't really get drastic until you you hit the coast. So, but as you you connect the states, the, the numbers are the same. They're climbing everywhere because people drive across borders. It sort of makes sense. Here, uh, there's a ton of like New York cars, right? And we're, I want to say five states away from New York. Okay. You know, they're like making you stay in your state. Remember that argument about how Connecticut was going to make people from New York? And people were like, you know, this is not Europe. You can't steal your your state border. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, man. This the whole environment is 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 goofy. People are not staying home. They're not staying in their states, and these these numbers aren't just state driven. They're sort of state adjacent driven, right? Um, and like I said, I don't. I like if if you're gonna tell people this every day then you you need to make it a five minute drop like the weather or the traffic report and not have you know like here i haven't seen the the, the governor give a report in a while i think it's been like two weeks which I, I i appreciate but you don't have something to say every week the the place doesn't you become you, it becomes a stock market right every week so and he gets to sit there and, and preen and and not take any real questions about his you know anything else other than corona you could ask him a ton of questions really he's you know what i'm saying he so i don't know what about the the new new variant in the uk that's uh, unfortunately happens to be in the united states already yeah that's why i think what did they say three months back in january february but but I but I think that's where I disagree with you because you have to still keep communicating with people. I mean, regardless of whether or not yeah. they're going to listen or not, regardless whether or not yeah, they're going to yeah. listen, and 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 yeah, but, most of them, a high percentage of them, aren't going to listen. They, they're they're yeah. still not going to wear masks. They're still going to cluster together. They're still going to travel. They're still going to do whatever they want to do. Right. But you still have to communicate because then it becomes yeah, well. You, you are communicating. You've been communicating for like ten months now, right? Why? Why? I mean, unless you're going to get up there and read off the names of the dead, why are you out there saying the same thing essentially every week, right? It's just a, it's a press conference where you get to essentially be be unchallenged by saying oh it's a public briefing about med you know uh about health versus a regular briefing where i could ask you a whole host of stuff and i don't remember him giving a briefing the last time about asking him how he your governor is running the state of new york right i mean it's 
it's it's a ploy. It, it's it's a way to to get into someone's administration. It's not really any way that he's helping anybody do anything other than that. These well, people, I mean, tell me the tell me the news that's come out of any of these uh, press conferences in the, like the last month. What's well, the I news? mean, other the news every day that's more infected. What's the news? Uh, last night he stated. In his, in his briefing last night, he stated, you know, following the CDC guideline, pushing it from... We all follow the CDC guidelines, but okay. Follow, 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 you, you're not letting me finish. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, right. I apologize. Uh, following, no, you don't have to apologize. I, I'm just going to give you a hard way. Um, following the CDC uh, guideline, it's... Um, we're going from... If you are infected... You go from 14 days to 10 days under quarantine. Right. That was yesterday's news. One, two, three. Yeah, well, they, that was news last week. Well, that was the, that was the, I guess, when they cut the from only days to seven, I was like, seven days. Yeah, yeah that's a little iffy. Yeah. That's a little that was, iffy. That was news last week. But even then, that's one news story in of one day, and he's doing this every day. You know, I don't think he still does it. I I don't I don't think he still does it every day. As long as like, well, I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Right. I I remember when it was must see TV. (laughs) Right. And and, you know, people here. I'll speak solely in New York because that's where I am. When he mentioned what he he mentioned about you know, right sizing and certain you know number capacity. People, I mean, they lost their lunch when they said no more than ten people. You know, yeah. and, and 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 people lost their minds. And but the other the other p- part to this is if he goes and doesn't say anything, no, and people hey, cluster, hey. and people cluster, right. and the infection rate explodes higher than it is now, right? Then you've got a problem. And they say, well, the problem is him. He's our leader. He's, he's the governor. Yeah, but here's, here's the thing with that. You've been telling people for a while now not to cluster. People have been clustering. You've been telling people for a while now uh, what they should and shouldn't be doing, and people have been giving you blowback for it for a while now, right? I don't know what to tell you. I mean, in a free society, these, these rights are inalienable right which means you can't you can't take them away um and even though they're not written in the constitution that you have the right to go outside and sit in the sun those are some of the things that you know people take for granted and every you been you went from three months to three months to three months to three months to three right like right February March April May June July August September October November so yeah okay so about January so yeah every every Three months essentially, you were like, "Oh, if, if we'll get through this, first it was we'll get through the spring. Summer would be great. Then it will get through the summer. Spring would be great. Then it was like, oh well, we got to get through uh, the winter session because it could it could come back. But if everybody wears gloves and all this kind of like now you can't go home and visit your family. Two months ago, it was you can't go to church and, and worship the way you want. All these things that look." Uh, I said on your show before, I was like, look, listen, you can't mandate people wear a mask, but you should have conditioned the country to be for each other so that when you go, yo, we all are in this together and we all need to wear a mask, everybody's like, where can I get a mask yesterday? Instead, you you told everybody, no one can tell you what to do. Everybody's your enemy who's your fellow American. And now you got people for the last two, two months, for the last four or five months, shooting people who ask them to put on masks and all this wild and stupid behavior, right? And now you have people breaking in their homes where there's more violence, more ridiculousness. People don't like their kids because their kids aren't in school. You know, the the whole, I think this exposes a lot of the problems with America, quite frankly. This whole winter. Got a got a comment on on the screen. I want to say thanks to Dada Rocks for the Stay Safe Award. And he comments, Cuomo has an impossible task. People will socialize as they do it in their homes, and the rates will keep well, going up. Problem. 
but he does keep dining closed without any relief for restaurants or for landlords who have tenants not paying rent. I'm worried about the foreclosures that will be coming this summer, 2021. Summer. You're, so you're I, I think it's gonna come. So I think it's gonna come kind. before it. Wait till summer. You're kind. Right. Well, well, this is gonna be to, oh, this is gonna be on people by spring. But to be truthful, the evictions in New York, New York State, are through May thirty first. Right. Okay. Now, what these other states are doing? So um, June that's first, yeah, right before it's gonna be before summer by June first because I anticipate by the time. They get these kids out of school because the first thing that happens when you drag people into court, they go, it's disruptive to the, to the children. And a lot of judges will be like, all right, well, we're going to give you two more months so school is over and fix it. So by the, by the time school ends, which is June, Ju- uh, uh, late May, early June, mid-June, at the latest, late June, th- I think there's just going to be a bloodbath on the streets. And he's right. I am, I'm worried about it, too. But I think it's going to but- be... But that's New York State. What are the other states doing to ensure all over the country? Once, but it, but it, but it hasn't been. They don't. They don't have anything in place. But but wait, the moratorium just ended like three days ago. You know, government does not work that fast. I mean, by the time these and and they were waiting to see if Trump signed this thing or not, um, which he did. But I mean, it's, it's well, I don't know, man. We'll see. I, I don't have a lot of faith in, in their solution to the problem. That's just so okay. Bad. That's that's valid. Um, I will. If you want to talk about, um, we were talking about a little bit offline about the PS Five and the restocks. <laughs> yeah. Dude. And I wish I had Danny Thompson who could join tonight to talk about this this topic because he talks about it intimately, being one of the, the, the people out there hunting down gaming consoles. Right. I mean, it's it's beyond a headache. And I don't know if you want to blame this botch rollout. And we're talking gaming consoles. We're not talking about vaccines. Well, was, it, was it a botched rollout? I mean, there's always a shortage of, of Christmas games. It just seems like the standard shortage of christmas games even in COVID, right before there was COVID, there was a beanie baby rush and you couldn't find them anywhere for your two this, three, and five year old and this seems like the same thing just with COVID. this um, is not i don't think this is at the level of like cabbage patch kids or the american girl doll play, oh, that, this is, i mean you're trying to buy like modern tech that'll play your music and your movies as well as play video games for you uh yeah, I mean, I th- I think it's it's the the toys a little more shiny and chromey as as you know. Uh, anyway, the the it, but it's the same. It's the same thing. It's the same kind of like got to call a thousand people and go to a thousand locations and you know tell your kid, don't worry, baby, you're gonna have it by Christmas. Whether that's the easy bake oven or the I got, I got another astronaut doll. Got know. another comment. He said yeah. he 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 landed a he landed a PS5 for his son from BJ's. It was all to build the hype. I think it was also for Dada Rocks. He was behind that BJ's paywall. That if you are not a member of BJ's, right, yeah, you exactly. you can't get into the party. Exactly. Where but you might have wanted to buy three or four of those and sell. <laughs> Two of them on. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Because, I mean, maybe I should be in BJ's instead of Sam's Club. Because Sam's Club just <laughs> had none of the goodness. Um, um, I, I've been following a couple of Twitter accounts. Yeah. Um, a couple of the Twitter accounts. Like four or five are like the, the PS restock or PS drop. Twitter accounts, and I mean, I don't want to say that stuff is a hoax, Mm -hmm. but they tell you, okay, there, there's about to be a drop, right? And then they're they're telling you good luck, Um, drop. And 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 by the way, if you want to donate to my cause, 
you can cash at me or you can like, what's that movie <laughs> what's that movie um the purge it, it okay. seems like the purge in a way where cats is just like going through a lot of hoops to get this game like that game to get this console and there aren't that many games for it yet all i know is i have an old xbox back there that's about to be a brick because <laughs> you have to really buy the new well the games this, will will work well the game you know, will come but here's a problem okay i mean it, it, the game world and i'm a big gamer the game world is 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 done to the right so uh two months two months maybe four months ago they had a, a crunch uh scandal right about making people work longer to get the games out and now there's covid so can you really work from home you've disrupt this disrupted all these games and how they flow so even if they are coming out they won't be coming out when you want them to when you expect them to i bought uh cyberpunk 20 uh 77 77 yeah I have, I have yet to play it um but it was delayed three times right it was delayed and and and, and are you sitting yours back because i i heard no, 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 no. i collect games on my steam account like i used to collect books so okay. i collect games that i haven't played yet i collect games that you know i figure one day i'll play with my niece and my nephew my niece is like 10 and my nephew is like 13. So they, oh, they might like these and try to give them the PC gaming versus Xbox gaming. But it's just kind of like because they're like five bucks here or 20 bucks there. So it's, it's but then I just never play them. <laughs> you know? So uh, I think it's, I think it's funny. Um, I'll admit yesterday I finally secured uh, a PS5 for my son. Nice. But, but it was like jumping through hoops. Um, so my goal was a PS5 and an Xbox for him, right? Yeah. Um, it's so funny because, you know, some of the stores, hey, if you're willing to drive to, to, I don't know, Connecticut. Right. Well, <laughs> your, your, your unit is here waiting for you because a lot of times with some of the stores that had shipments, because I guess, you know, the supply chain was so screwy. And right. we, we know what we had to go through with shipping. They weren't offering shipping. You would have to come to the store to pick it up. So what I really want to drive to the Gateway Mall in Brooklyn. Right. Right off the, 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 the Belt Parkway to go stop over there to go pick up the game. I mean, I guess, yes, if I really wanted it. Right. But for me personally, I was like, nah, no thanks, I'm good. And he can wait. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I just I, I, I just still in this a video game console. Right. And that's what they want you to be desperate and I, I have to I have to what's that jingle all the way? <laughs> right. They want you and, I, and they want you, Schwarzenegger and uh uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Uh, Hartman to duke it out over, like I forgot the name of that toy, but yeah, it's it's the same energy. So, big question is, I, I know it's COVID, but what are you doing for Christmas Eve? I mean, excuse me, New Year's Eve. I am New Year's Eve. Jack Bone Diddley. Is there like um? Like a, a ball or whatever, where you can no. go to to celebrate in no, Virginia. No, this this is not. I, what will likely happen since since no one can go anywhere anyway is I guess there'll be smattering smatterings of gatherings at the beach. Okay. Uh, and uh, ten people or less. Exactly. Ten, 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 ten people yeah, or less. I, I, I'll have a romantic walk on the beach by myself. Me, me and my <laughs> schizophrenia. So, yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, it'll be us three walking on the beach. Any any new, new year? <laughs> any new year resolutions? Uh, yeah, I think I need to slow down on the drinking and uh, actually take a a seriously hard run at some of these dreams that are. Uh, my creative body 
was supposed to have done uh, a while ago. But since I'm so creative, but still going to do it. Maybe get one of these marathons under my belt finally. Stop running like, three, well, I wonder if I could still run three miles. I used to run three miles a day, every day. Now I'm like, if I could get across the street before the light turns green, I'm, I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, maybe I do something like that. I'm trying, I'm trying to get some of my, my swag back, and and the swag the way I see, not the way the world thinks my swag is. So I'm gonna paint okay. more. I want to drink less. I want to do more cooking. I want to talk more with interesting people and try and figure out the secrets of the universe with like-minded people. Because even though you don't figure out, it's always fun to talk to people about uh, like-minded people about these things without it coming to arguing. I, you know, I'm beyond arguing now. I'm like, tell me something I, from an angle that I didn't think of, so I can be like, dude, wow, you are, you know, or miss, wow, you get it, whatever. Just in, like, just. Tell me something that shows that you are an actual thinker in this realm, because I think a lot of people just do exactly as they're told, and it's it's beyond tired now. So yeah, that's that's my New Year's resolution: more cooking, more exercising, uh, less drinking. Uh, trying to—I I hate to say it to sound corny about it, but trying to be kind to people. But I am kind to people. But I want to be trying to be more mean to people because. <laughs> so I need to be told to shut up and get out of your way. So it's not always like sunshine and lollipops. Sometimes it's ass whippings and beat downs. So oh but my yeah, God. All, all this kind of, no, but not physical, not, but just kind of like the mindset of kind of like changing Mental. How, how, Mental. how your head game is. Right. Stop being so kind to people in a cruel world, right? Be kind and, and seek allies, but at the same time, Everybody wants to get along, but the people who don't want to get along with you, you know, put push them to the side and let them stay away. But if they refuse to stay on the side and they continue to engage with you, then you should be able to bark back at them. And that is the point. To me, people are just kind of like, I will make this friendship work, or they remove themselves from the thing. And it's like, in this in this way, you stand your ground of, well, I stood up for myself and I feel bad about it, even though I, I may not be able to go back to that library again <laughs> because I yelled at the library. But, you know, dag nab, but I was right. So all this kind of energy, too many people are, what's that the old phrase? Living lives of quiet desperation. Don't do that. <laughs> lives of quiet desperation will just get you a clogged artery and a, like a stroke. It's good to, <laughs> to, to let it go, just to like chirp at people who chirp at you. I mean, it's not always calm, like, physical conflict which is why i think a lot of people don't uh because uh, they're taught oh everybody's crazy and don't talk to anybody then you go home and fume just kind of let it all go paint more you know chill more don't finish off a bottle of wine a day have a glass a day and then <laughs> paint or sing your song that you love to do i i i, I still uh Throw an old song my parents grew up to and like do wop and you know that six just because it was on when I, I I grew up clean and like reminded of like my family and my so all these kind of things that put you in a good headspace is essentially what I'm trying to say. You should try and seek out in the new year. If that's music or cooking or someone who makes you feel good about yourself and someone who you know that that kind of thing. But man. They're trying to make you happy but at being miserable and blaming the world. And that's not, that's, if you buy into that, shame on you. you know, would, that's would, how they control you. So once would you, you have that control of you, you're good. Would you like to sing a song Don't before we close do. out? Kumbaya, my lord. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got your kumbaya right here, brother. Yeah, nah, exactly. That kumbaya, look, man. You live in an environment where for the last 30 years, we've been at nothing but war, maybe deep down in your head and nothing but violence on TV, right? Cop shows and war shows and the, like some of these police shows every week, there's a terrorist bombing. I'm like, what, what town do you live in where this is your local police setting every week, right? So some of it, you just might want to just get away from is all I'm saying. You know, by saying give, join a nunnery and give up the club life. All I'm saying is, you know, you might want to get into the habit of of flushing 
some of that out of your system. And you can do that in a lot of ways. You can do it with art, you can do it with a joint, you can do it with good music. Um, although the, the lyrics get in your head, so if it's all guns and violence and stuff, I, I wonder if you're doing anything. But like just as much of that, listen to if you secretly like love songs and you are a thug from the hood, but you secretly like uh uh what's that guy? John Denver. Put on your headphones, go sit in the park, listen to John Denver. Just come down off of off of the the stress of it all because they really want you to be stressed out and unhappy in this little little, I guess uh I don't wanna say pen, but kind of like system that they have here. You have to find a way to clear your own head. Yeah, and I, I don't know how everyone else does it, but the way I've done it, which was always been successful to me, is some artsy stuff, some physical exercise stuff, a lot of, you know, libations, a good movie or two, some good conversation, and then just keep it moving. So yeah. m m most of these TV shows nowadays are... I'll say, I don't know, 90% are fictional. Yeah. So um, what are you, tell me, what are you binging right now? Well, you know, <laughs> I just found The Expanse on uh, on uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. So I'm through the first season of that, and people are talking about they're about to cancel it, and I'm like, oh, really? Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm into But that. there's been like five seasons. There's been like four. Yeah, no, there's been like, like four seasons. Season number six, I think. I think okay. they just ended the fifth season, so this is like coming up on season number six. But I'm, okay. I'm, I'm a notorious contrarian in, in some ways. Um, I, I love to read, but for a while that everything people were telling me to read was on the New York Times bestseller list, and then I realized that everyone that I knew in the old neighborhood of Brooklyn we're all essentially just reading the same trash. Um, so, I mean, and watching the same stuff. So five years later, I'm, I'm finally on the expanse. Um, still haven't seen the boys or any of this, like a lot of the other things, but you know. The boys were great. The boys were great. Okay. Both seasons. Second season was much better than the first season. The second season of the boys? Yeah. Maybe but the first season was really good. I get it. Right. I like quirky shows. Like there, there used to be a show called Pushing Daisies on ABC that I loved. There was a uh, a show called um, uh, there was a uh, Picket Fences. Like all these weird shows that no one. I I really liked. Uh, My name is Earl about that hillbilly kind of like guy from New Mexico. I read, okay. like the Drew Carey show, shows that I should not normally like. Uh, it's just, it's, I don't know, man. It's those, those shows come up. I'll watch those shows before I watch any of the Tyler Perry stuff, which is, I just think at this point is just licensed coonery. I think it's ridiculous. There's this show called Man and Wife. Do you know this show? Uh -uh. If you like it, like it, go watch it. Look, let, let, again. It's a pandemic. If you, if I, I, I'll, I'll share with your audience. My, my dirty secret was well, not anymore. It used to be. My dirty secret was I, I used to love romantic comedy, right? Because there was no gun chases, no car chases, no gun, no, no shit. It was just stupid nonsense, and I knew it was going to end up in a happy ending, right? So that was sort of like my urban dude escape. I'd go watch him by myself. I've seen them all. Um, uh. But I didn't, I didn't put any stock in it, like, you know, then go home and read romance novels and fall into this world, right? Um, it's, it's, it's the pandemic, man. It's the last day. Uh, if you got out of this year, and this was quite a year, you know, show yourself some love, acknowledge the things you like. You know, this isn't like the 1920s where you a macho guy can't read a romance novel if you want, or you are a quiet and demure lady can't, you know, fix your V8 twin engine, big block, whatever that you, you know what I mean? So just whatever it is that gets that, that energy that clogs your audience and makes you angry and give you that road rage energy, all that stuff can be just 
dissuade and all the people that you live with who make you crazy, you can view them in a different way just because, you know, you talk, you, you convince yourself that, you know, you are like people who don't like their family make me crazy. First of all, how do you not like your children? You're raising them. If you raise, if, if you have people in your house that you don't like, shame on you. You know, you did something wrong. It's not, I never blame the children. I don't care if that kid is 70 and he does something to you and you're 105. You're right. I, I'm like, how are you hating Ole? Oh, wait, what? That's it. He's your son? Okay, yeah. What did you do to him that this is not simmering this long? Right? So, I mean, as, as bad as that sounds, there's a simplicity in it that you are your children's first teacher's first example of everything. How, how can you... How can you be? I, I get children are stressful, but how can you hate on them? Like some of the stuff down there. My parents' anniversary was yesterday, December 29th, 60 uh -huh. years. Right? The Congratulations. Line, they set a, a fantastic example for the rest of my brothers and sisters. You know, so I am pro marriage. I am pro family. I'm pro these little kids. I'm pro your struggle to get your family to the next level. The only mm -hmm. reason I, the only way I'm not for your family is you seek to destroy the family next to you. Does that make sense? Right? So okay. that's the, that's my head game because one dude can destroy a whole bunch of families, right? But if I'm trying to get there and I, I'm, I, I get to level rung number nine and you get to 10, the fair play. The guy behind me may only get to, what did I, to level eight, you know, fair play. But all this rigged system, Lori Laughlin, con artist, BS, McConnell won't even give you two grand. And Kelly Lawson's out here inside of trading, uh, allegedly. Got a knock on something. I mean, the place is broken. The place is is goofy. So we'll we'll see what we have in the new year. You know, because final final question I have for you. It's you would be affected if you were still uh, living in New York, yeah. but you you are not right. Um. Andrew Yang filed the paperwork to run for mayor. Uh huh. What has Andrew Yang done for anybody? I mean, I know he's famous. And he's running right for him. president. I mean, well, he yeah. wants the yeah, that, would be for me. To... that was for him. He <clears throat> running for president was for anybody else but Andrew Yang. He ran for president, and uh, he's you know he's stuck about UBI. There's people in New York who's done more for New York than Andrew Yang has. Right. Having said that. A lot of those jokers have been around for 20 years, excuse me, in local politics doing bone diddly. You know what I'm saying? Bone diddly. So yeah, maybe maybe he is, I don't know if he's a shock to the system that they need. He I mean he's a he's a he's a dark horse, right? He's a new the new figure in, but Stringer shouldn't be. He's just a democratic functionary. Uh, just an, another empty suit, you know. Um, but he wants to do. He wants to do good. He wants to do like Letitia James. She was the last empty suit who did good, and now she's a controller, right? Um, attorney general. Is she attorney general? Right. Well, Stringer's attorney controller. General. She was a controller. What is what is Scott Stringer now? He went from city the birth I think he's president, the, 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 the public advocate. Public advocate. advocate, yeah. Public advocate. You know what the job of the public advocate is? I, it's yeah, right behind exactly. the mayor. It's right behind the mayor. Yeah, it's one of these weird positions where it's sort of like the opposite of a district attorney where you have an office and instead of charging people for crimes, the public, the public advocate is a weird gig. Right. I, I think it's no, no, no. It's because if you, look, if you look, level, if you look, if you look, if you look, it's De Blasio was that okay. position. Yeah. It's a, it's a springboard position to yeah. whatever you so want to do in local job, politics. It's, I think to get in the New York City government without actually having any New York City government experience. Because De Blasio, before he became controller, was what? He was a, a Democratic uh, aide to, I want to say, Dinkins, right? Uh, before Scott Stringer became controller, uh, controller before he became public advocate, he was what? He was some functionary. 
Um, yeah, wasn't he like the president of one of the when I was for office in New York and angry and talking to all these people and all my lawyer friends? They were like, I'm like, I should run for mayor because you uh, like, you, like hop over so you, you, you're not part of the machine. Exactly what Donald Trump did. They're like, no, nah, you, you got to start something. No one's going to trust the but You know what you should start? And they always would mention control. And I was like, not control. They were always would mention public advocate. And this yeah. is a job where you're the highest person for the voice of the people. I don't really know what the power is there. I really don't. But but Dude. there's a, a sufficient amount of power there. I mean, you can look into stuff and have people arrested. I just don't know what they do there. It's a very weird gig. It, it, Google. Yeah, yeah. I used to know. I, I, did, I Googled it a million years ago. I've long ago forgot. Google. Was. I've given up all hopes of being a, a political anything. Although I still harbor dreams of running and doing well enough in the debates where they keep me around just so I could like verbally punch people in the face on stage, <laughs> you know? So you're running not so much to win, just to dethrone all these people who shouldn't be in the race in the first place. Oh like, um, oh, in hockey, what do they call those guys? Um, were they, when they Enforcers? Guys, yeah, thank you. Enforcers. Exactly. But not for anybody in particular, just kind of like have enough knowledge of the game and enough goodwill with the people that they go, yeah, we're going to keep him around because we like what he asked X, Y, or Z at this moment. You know what I mean? But, yeah, someone else is uh, is going to have to do it because someone needs to do it. Because we'll, we'll see what we get with all this uh, McConnell stuff. We shall, we shall see. We shall see. Hey, so now's your time to promote your social handles, where people can find you. All the above. Ooh. All right. Well, I I have been off social media since about March, um, but I expect to come back about January, uh, about inauguration day. Uh, True summer on most platforms. I won't be back to Facebook. I think I'm done with Facebook. Uh, so, yeah, maybe I don't have any social handles. Twitter, True Armor. YouTube, Truest Armor, and uh, Haps TV, True Haps Armor. Hey, True Armor. Yeah, come get some. Uh, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I will put you on the spot by saying, by asking you, when is the cooking show debuting on Haps TV? That's funny. I just made a uh, pot roast. Mwah. Um, you should have had the camera go. Yeah, I will do it because I'm like, well, what, what, what meal do I make? But I, you know what I normally do? I, I, I'll probably do what I normally do. Just cook a thing like a, that pot roast. <laughs> then make pot roast sandwiches for for the week, or maybe just cook mashed potatoes and just leave that episode that mashed potatoes. So yeah, I'm gonna be back at it. Uh, like I said, within the next two weeks, as soon as I get out of this year, knock on wood, if I survive it, it's still 31 hours. No, what about it's nine, so that's 20. Yes, yeah, 31 hours to go. Um, about 26. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> 26 hours, 13 minutes, and five seconds. There you Dude. go. Slate Night Parents, uh, want to thank you guys once again. Um, Ways to follow the show at latenightparents.com. You can get the latest. You can get the latest um, podcasts, blogs, um, you know, YouTube channels up there. The aforementioned dreaded Facebook feed is up there. And that's about it. True, I want to thank you for joining. Thank you. We're a, a, a holler later. Absolutely. Thanks.